Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out Branch Out Guitar. I'm John and today we're going to be talking about pentatonic pattern legs. So let's get started. Today I'm just going to show you two different ideas of taking a pattern through the pentatonic scale and how you can use that to connect these positions and move around the guitar neck. So still staying in the key of G minor. Our first position is that pretty well by now. So the first pattern, which is pretty obvious here, is just taking groups of four notes and playing down through the scale. And what the patterns, I'll show you how the pattern is going to repeat here. So say if I start on the, the very top of the scale, sixth fret, and just play down four notes. What I'm going to do is go back to the next available note, uh, lower than the first note that I started on, and then play down four more notes. So each time you start one note lower and extend the pattern one note lower. technique exercise just learning the scale and you know developing your finger strength and uh, dexterity but it's also a tool that you could use when you're soloing just to kind of get a little bit more mileage out of the same scale rather than just running single notes all the way through well these are single notes but running a, a single pattern all the way through rather than just kind of playing straight up and down the scale hammer-ons and pull-offs, of course. So pretty much wherever I can put a pull-off in, or in this case it's a pull-off, if I go the opposite direction it would be a hammer-on, but wherever I can put that in I will, so that's just involving two notes on the same string. As you play down this scale, there you could do two pull-offs. But then the next note on the scale is going to go across three strings, so you play one note, the next two would be a pull-off, and then a single note, and then you would go back to the second string where you have, uh, you can do two, two pull-offs again, so the pattern kind of alternates when you start using those legato techniques. And you can take that same pattern all the way through, uh, through the other positions as well. through the third, fourth, and fifth positions as well. Now another common uh, pattern or cool pattern that I like, uh, I'm just going to stay on the top two strings of uh, this pentatonic scale. And this is good for actually like traversing left and right on the guitar, whereas the pattern that I just showed you before is good for kind of going up and down from first all the way over to the sixth string. This is going to stay on the same strings, but get you moving from low to high in this direction or high to low if you're moving that direction. So I'm going to start here all the way up here at the 15th fret, the high octave for this G. And all I'm going to do is going to play this note twice and then pull off to the 13th fret. That's the next lower note available on the scale. And then the 15th fret on the second string. So it's just really going to be those four notes. But what I could do is I would have these four notes here in this position. This is the fifth position. Next position would be the 13th, 10th fret on the first string, and then 13th fret on the second string. That's out of the fourth position. Next position, third position, 10th, 8th fret on the first string, 11th fret on the second string. And then 8th, 6th fret on the first string, and 8th fret on the second string for the second position. These right here, 6th, 3rd, 
6th fret on the 2nd string. And then once I get here, now this is just the lower octave of where I started. So if I take that pattern, say I'll play each twice and I'll move into the next position, so... start taking that pattern all the way through just the same direction that I did in the first pattern going from the first string over to the uh, to the sixth string are good really because you just have to think of one pattern and how that connects with the one scale and then you get a lot more mileage moving around the guitar neck where you're only thinking of one or two little things rather than a whole bajillion things which is a lot harder to do when you're trying to put together your own solo your own licks so that's pretty much it for pentatonic pattern licks be sure to subscribe you can comment share below and be sure to check out branchatguitar.com for more information see you next time